Hi everyone, I'm Elaine, um, a secondary school teacher, a secondary school teacher of modern foreign languages. Um, this is not my first tour with black history um, studies. I've also done the Liverpool tour, but this has been a fascinating uh, three days. Um, my first time in Belgium, my first time on the Eurostar, um, and this was a packed tour packed full of information, vital information. I've taken loads of photographs and videoed things I'm going to take back to school tomorrow and introduce to my maths faculty, English faculty, um, history faculty. Um, I think the thing that I've found most fascinating um, on, on the tour has been the two mathematical the two early mathematical instruments which were discovered in Africa, the, um, is it the, the Shango bone and um, I've forgotten the name of the, the, the other bone, but that, that was fascinating and I think they would make uh, a wonderful uh, introduction to mathematics um, in, in well, primary or secondary school these are very, very important instruments um, that have had enormous impact on the world of mathematics. Um, the thing that I found um, most sad, um, most moving, was our visit um, to um, an area just outside um, the centre of Belgium. Um, Brussels, sorry, um, and apparently um, Africans were brought over um, to Belgium and put into human zoos um, and some died on the way to Belgium and um, seven seven known um, Africans were um, from the Belgian Congo um, were known to have been brought over and succumbed to the cold or possibly um, disease and they were put initially into um, a, um, a grave, a common grave or all together and then later on they were put into um, separate um, graves, individual graves, and um, our tour leader, um, Charmaine, um, said that when she last came, she put um, a rose on each of the tombs, and I thought that was such a very touching thing to do, and several of us went to a nearby florist and bought some um, some flowers and we, we we laid flowers on the seven tombs and um, and stood and thought about them um, for for a while and um, yeah, you know it, it really it really really touched me the horrendous things that have happened to to us over the hundreds of years, but several hundred, several, um, well, a couple of hundreds of years later, it, it was good that these people, we uttered their names, we remembered them, and we honored them with, um, with our flowers and with our thoughts. I would highly recommend the tour. I've learned so much. Um, I think I know quite a lot, but there is clearly so much more that I need to learn. And um, I'm really looking forward to the next tour, um, which will be in September. Looking forward to that very much. Yeah, do the tour. If you want to learn, um, then do the tour. <laughs>